Salutations YouTube, it's your boy Rookie Stacker back with another one. Super excited to talk to y'all because we made it y'all, we made it, we made it. I, I will be purchasing my first one ounce piece of gold this weekend. Probably tomorrow, so long as I can wake up. Um, super tired. Well, I, I got to wake up because, you know, um, this week was tough. I was only able to do two sessions of basketball training this week because we had three games this week. And it's not over. We played on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we play again tomorrow. Um, we've been in a winter go-home situation. Um, through the conference tournament and we playing tomorrow baby so we got one more win to get to hopefully we can pull it off but I only got to train two days Tuesday I, I made about $150 Thursday I made about $120 now, obviously you're, I know you're thinking like how did that get you where you needed to get to it didn't I sold some things around the house that weren't being used uh, a few extra things that I had that uh, I don't use anymore. Some of it was a little overkill, you know, some home security stuff that, you know, I, there was no need for me to have all of that, you know. So I went ahead and, and sold it and I got what I needed, baby. We getting uh, we getting a full ounce of gold, full ounce of gold tomorrow. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go ahead and get up. Head down there, the coin shop doesn't open. So there, there's another, that's another thing. Man, so my daughter's hair on my desk. She be, which I'm not around, she be up here. But uh, that's another thing. So uh, you guys know I, I do all my silver and stuff like that through a private seller. Uh, I appreciate him. He gives me good prices on the silver and everything like that. But I, I he's being a little more, you know, being a little more greedy with the gold. You know, so there's a coin shop. That, that is doing Eagles, Buffaloes uh, for 100, Eagles and Buffaloes for over 100, I mean for 100 over spot. And, you know, he always told me, you know, I always want to be competitive, you know, with the, with the local coin shops. And, you know, I want you to come and do business with me. And so that's why, because he'll always give me a better deal. You know what I mean? Um, now the thing about the coin shop, it does not have buffaloes. It only has one. It has a gym, um, a gym proof or a pr no, not a gym proof, a proof buffalo. So they said they would do that for 200 over spot. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Right. So I asked, um, you know, if they had any St. Gaudens Eagles or double Eagles, right? Cause they're, you know, everybody's saying St. Gaudens double Eagles is the way to go, you know, especially for your first, your first coin. They said they would check and call me back, and they never called me back. So that sucks. But, um, you know, maybe when I go in there tomorrow, they'll have one. But my private seller has some double eagles, right? But he doesn't have, like, the 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 one with the lady walk with Lady Liberty walking, though. He has just the head. So, the like, the Liberty head double eagle. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's not the one that everybody's telling me that I should get if I have a chance to. I'm pretty sure that's just the you know, regular old double eagle. I could be wrong. Let me know, you know, give me some knowledge, uh, drop a comment on this. But so this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to go to the coin shop tomorrow morning and um, I'm going to get either, hopefully they have a St. Gaudens double eagle or I'm just going to walk out of there with a, uh, with a, with an American gold eagle, you know, uh, modern day. The reason I'm not buying from my private seller on this I told him there was a coin shop that's doing 100 over spot. I sent him the number to the coin shop so he could confirm. He said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in competition. I'm not I'm not trying to be in competition with them for this. You know, the gold, that's that's the standard price. But my thing is, is why would I buy one from you then? Because I buy it from you because you can beat out the prices of all the other people. So and that's what he's done with silver. Every time I've shown him there's somewhere that has a better price, he gets, you know, slightly $5 or something like that, less than that. 
why would I buy it from you then have to go through the work of getting it authenticated when I can go to the coin shop then since you're telling me that you're not going to be in competition with their gold prices and just get it from them so I'm probably going with the uh with the coin shop on this like I said he sent me pictures of his double eagles none of them are of Lady Liberty walking they're all um just the Liberty heads so boom is what it is I guess I'm getting a gold eagle tomorrow because there's no buffaloes I really wanted a 24 karat gold coin. I really did. I, I can't tell you why. I really wanted a, a buffalo over a, a American gold eagle. For the fact that it's 24 karat, I've never held anything 24 karat. Um, like, you know, you know, substantial like that. Like a one ounce piece of 24 karat gold. But they don't have any buffaloes. Uh, I could get a Britannia or something like that. But, you know, I'm thinking for this first purchase, I should go ahead and get... Uh, an American Gold Eagle. Now, all of that's out the way. Can't wait to show y'all what I get. We got mail calls, y'all. We got mail calls. I finally went and picked up some some packages that have been waiting on me for a couple of days. One of them is from my friends who I speak to on a on pretty much a daily basis. Uh, Bionic Bull, eighty eight. Not to be confused with. I'm not even about to bring it up. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Bionic Boy 88 and Legit Sir Noobs. Um, they sent me something. I I participated in one of their game night streams. And they sent me um, stuff. I don't think I won anything. Well, maybe I did. What the heck? What the heck? Benchmark Strategic Metal Certificate of Authenticity. Amari Usk Admare. This is a fourth grain of 999's fine gold. What the heck? Why did they send me this? I don't know. Um, I don't know why they sent me this, but look, I got some gold. Look at that. What's this? Benchmark strategic metals. In God we trust half a gram of 999 fine, fine silver. I don't know why they sent me these because this is not what I was expecting. What I was expecting is I participated in one of their game nights and... Um, I I didn't win, but I I um I paid for like a coin roll hunt that they were doing, and basically if they would have found silver, I would have got whatever silver they found. They didn't find anything, but in place of that, because I paid money for it, because I paid money for that particular game, if you got skunked, they would send you a um a silver a silver half dollar, and I asked for a Walking Liberty half because I didn't ha I didn't have any at the time. But uh, yeah, here's here's what I expected. I don't know why they sent me this, but thank y'all. You know, but you know, again, I'll speak to them on a daily. Uh, I know them by names other than their YouTube names. You know, oh shoot, they sent something else. What is this? Okay, we have uh, what is that? Okay, some more silver, a tenth Troy ounce. Where is this from? That looks like a Native American or, oh wait, no, uh, Aztec, Aztec. Yeah, look at that. Camera's not focusing, y'all. My fault. Wow, look at that. I mean, this detail is so small on this, I can't even see it. Focus, focus. There we go, a little bit. Wow, look at that. Hey, my friends, thank y'all. You already know. Like, those are my people. Bionic Bull 88. If you're not subscribed to her, go subscribe to her. Her um, boyfriend, Legit Sir Noobs. Another person, go sub, sub to them if you uh, haven't, if you're not already. I know they're doing a giveaway soon for a, a certain number of subs. I'm not sure where they are with it, but help them out as much as you can. And then I have another package here. This one, it might be the one that's a little controversial for some of you because this was a trade. So there's another YouTuber, Silver Surfer. If you're not subscribed to Silver Surfer, go subscribe to Silver Surfer for, for me. Uh, he hit me. He hit me up in my email. And uh, he he had hit me up initially, you know, kind of because I had been talking about how it's so hard for me to find junk silver. He said that he has plenty of junk silver and he'd be willing to trade with me for some of it. In return, what he wanted. Oh, he sent me a sticker. Nice. Coin hunts, metal detecting, stacking, tre treasure hunting for precious metal. Silver surfer. My guy. Thank you. Thank you for the sticker. For sure, adding that. Gotta love when we get a, a sticker. 
Um, but he told me he would um, trade me, and what he wanted in return was gold. Um, at the time, I had just purchased, you guys saw it, I had just purchased a 10th ounce Philharmonic. Um, and... Not that I didn't love the coin, because any coin I get, I get because, you know, I, I like it. But, you know, I just wasn't as attached to it as I was with some of my other 10th ounce coins. I have a 10th ounce gold eagle that I'm very attached to. Uh, I had already given away my 10th ounce Battle of the Coral Sea, even though I plan on buying another one of those because my private seller has another one of them. But, um, you know, I, I didn't want to give up my eagle, but I really did want some junk silver. And so uh, I traded my 10th ounce gold Philharmonic. The premiums on them are pretty low. I feel like I can get another one fairly easily if I wanted to. Um, so I didn't mind doing the trade because as of right now, this right here is all of the junk silver I have. This right here. This is all I got. It's probably about, I don't know, $8 or something like that face. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure. So he sent me some... Okay, looks like we got two halves. We got a walking half that's uh, been through some stuff. I like that. I like when the coins, these uh, these coins have been through some stuff because I'm holding history right here. Um, it's definitely really light. And then we have a Kennedy half. Cool, I'll take that too for sure because I didn't have any Kennedy halves. I have a couple Benjis. Um, and we'll also add the... Walking half from Bonic Bull and Legit Sir Noobs to this. Look, look at that. Appreciate them. They sent me one that's still in really, really good shape. You can still see some feather detail and stuff like that. This one right here, been through stuff. You know what I mean? Got some character on it. I like them both. I love them both the same. Okay. And then we got a bunch of Washington quarters. Love that sweet silver sound. Yeah, we love that. We love that sweet silver sound. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go through here and make sure there's no 1948s. I take out the 1948s, um, and I'm also gonna take out uh, 1950s of everything because 1948 is the year my my father was born. 1950 was the year my mother was born. So I like to keep those to the side for myself. Um, 1950s. Yeah, I won't do that here. I'll go. I'll go through them uh, after we finish this video because I know this is getting pretty long, guys. We about to come down to the closing right now. I, I don't like going too far over ten minutes, but sometimes I just ran on. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sitting. I've been sitting around four hundred and eleven, four hundred and twelve. Like every day, I go to sleep. It'll be four hundred and twelve sub subscribers. I'll wake up to four hundred eleven or something like that. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to grow this thing. Um, I have some, some really good videos planned coming up, especially my exit strategy video. And then look here, I got some, uh, these should be dimes. Okay, we got a Merc. We got one Merc. Mercury dime, 1944. And then the rest should be rosy. No, I mean, um, I'm tripping. Uh, yeah, yeah, rosies. Rosies, okay. I don't know why I was thinking um, something else. Yeah, so we got full tube Roosevelt dimes. So I'm pretty sure all together he sent me about, I think we agreed on like $10.10 of face value of, uh, of junk. Um, I think he might have thrown in a little more. I know this is a $5 tube. And uh, I haven't counted, but I was okay with that. I thought that was fair value for the for the Philharmonic. Um, and yeah, so I am adding to my junk silver. This will probably be the last thing I add for a while because, man, I'm I, I'm I'm really I don't know where I'm gonna be after I make this gold purchase. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. Please tune in for the the next one. The next one I'll be showing you the gold that I purchased. And I'll also be talking about my exit strategy for my stacking um, when the time comes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go over exactly how I want to exit um, my, my um, precious metals. And uh, it's not a full exit, but you know, you know what I mean. I want to tell you exactly how I plan on cashing in on my metals. 
um, 20 years from now. Okay. So please tune in to the next one. Subscribe to Silver Surfer. Subscribe to Bonnie Bull 88 and Legit Sir Noobs. Uh, watch what happens when I get this gold tomorrow and uh, stack responsibly. Keep climbing. Rookie Stacker out.